Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of March 1965, the United States, alongside the Republic of Vietnam Air Force, began Operation Rolling Thunder. Operation Rolling Thunder lasted for three and a half years and saw hundreds of thousands of tons of bombs dropped on North Vietnam. It had been approved by President Lyndon B. Johnson on the 13th of February with the intention of pressuring the communist North Vietnamese government to end their support for the National Liberation Front, otherwise known as the Viet Cong. By destroying North Vietnamese infrastructure, the USA hoped that they would stop supplies going to the south whilst the population would become demoralised. Simultaneously, it was hoped that the attacks would boost the confidence of the non-communist South Vietnamese government. Assisted by the USSR and China, North Vietnam was able to develop a highly effective anti-aircraft system that went on to bring down almost 900 American planes involved in the operation. Simultaneously, the Viet Cong began to attack American air bases in South Vietnam. It was to protect these bases that Johnson began authorizing more ground troops to be sent to Vietnam. Estimates place the cost of the damage inflicted by Operation Rolling Thunder on North Vietnam at around $300 million. However, the lost American aircraft alone cost $900 million. It was also clear that Rolling Thunder had not succeeded in stopping supplies entering South Vietnam, as the devastating Tet Offensive was able to be carried out in 1968. Similarly, North Vietnam used the damage inflicted by the campaign to fuel an anti-American propaganda campaign that mobilised hundreds of thousands of civilians to repair the damage. <laughs>